Hi everyone, it's Lee from Gnome and Backyard, and today I am dreaming of summertime and ice cream floats. Now this cute little ice cream cup is from the Dollar Tree, and I did find it in the party section with the party favors, and it came in an array of colors, which makes it really fun to make more than one of these. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking a styrofoam cone, also from the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, I cut about two inches off of the bottom. Now you could leave yours taller if you'd like, but I I wanted mine at a little bit of a shorter height. I'm just placing that cone right inside of my cup. Now I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of fur from my stash that I did cut in a triangular shape. And remember when you're cutting your fur, always cut on the back with a straight blade and be careful. So I'm gonna take a generous bead of hot glue, run it across the very top of my triangle for my fur to secure it to the styrofoam cone. And I did make this triangle long enough that it would wrap around the cone and actually cover the back of the cone too. I am leaving the top of the styrofoam cone exposed because that is where we are going to glue our ice cream hat on. So as you can see, the fur does cover the back so there is no a styrofoam cone exposed. All right, let's grab that cute little ice cream sundae hat. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some hot glue in the very top. You're gonna to wanna to put some E6000 glue in there also to really secure it. But for my purposes to be quicker with this video, I'm just using some hot glue. Now, if you would like to re-add your straw at the end of this, remember where do you want your straw to be? That's where that little hole is in the hat. So I want mine to be off to the side, so I made sure I glued the hat on with the hole off to the side. I am using the one half inch button plugs from Home Depot. I like those, they're wooden and they have a flat side to them. So I really do like to use them and you do get quite a few in a pack and they are in the lumber section of Home Depot. So I'm just gluing his cute little nose on right underneath the brim of his hat. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna add that straw back through. Now, if you want your straw to be shorter, you can just snip it and make it shorter, but I am going to just pop it in from the bottom of the hat, and then I'm just gonna push it down into the cup. Oh, you guys, look at how sweet he is. How much fun would it be to do several of these in several different colors and use them as party favors? Thank you so much for continuing to sprinkle all of Gnome and Backyard's videos.